Yesterday, Elon Musk took over Twitter and he closed that for four. $44 billion deal, and he cleaned house, accusing some of the leaders of misleading him and the investors over the number of fake accounts on Twitter. He had already signed on the dotted line, he had to buy it, and now he's furious with them because he says that they were, they were not telling him the truth, that uh, they were misleading him. So he fired several top executives, the CEO, the CFO, head of legal policy, trust and safety, who was allegedly behind banning Trump from Twitter, and Bloomberg's reporting also he fired the general counsel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you know what, Ainsley, you, you point out like, like the CEO screen left right there, he's leaving, he's leaving rich. Here's Steve Forbes about an hour ago. No need to feel sorry for those previous executives unceremoniously left uh, or escorted out of the building. The CEO gets a $42 million payout. Uh, the CFO gets $25 million. Jack Dorsey, who founded it, gets a billion dollars in cash. So no tears need to be uh, uh, wept over this one. Twitter was never a great money maker, even though it was founded years ago. Never enjoyed the kind of stock market rise that uh, other uh, companies that uh, were founded at about the same time. So it's always been trouble. Uh, but if anyone can do it, he can. But it's going to be slimmed down. Uh, you know, right. there's nothing bad that could come of this. Right now, Twitter is a no-go zone for a lot of conservatives, a lot of independents that just say this is a left-wing uh, cesspool. And Elon Musk says, the reason I acquire Twitter is because it's important uh, to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square. And he says he's not going to make it a hellscape for right. those advertisers that are worried that some of this stuff is going to be vile and they don't want their product associated with it. Right. So that's what's going to help him turn a profit. But it would be a place that everyone could go. Wouldn't it be interesting to have at least one platform that makes the other platforms look bad because they're not fair? Well, let's uh, see. And that's what uh, Facebook is. Facebook will feel pressure now if everyone says, wait a second, you're, you're again using algorithms to suppress conservative thoughts and takes uh, and positions. And then all of a sudden, if, right. if, uh, if Twitter is a sanctuary from that, that'll force the others to change.